Today is my day, where I will say Cena tucked his tail and then ran away He ruined my performance and deserves to pay But fear not, for I am here to set things straight As for Cena, revenge on him will have to wait Because I am the attraction, I am the star Despite how jealous all of you are Look out! Aiden English should be less concerned about John Cena and singing I'm more concerned about what's behind him. The man who has a golden opportunity. Tetsuya Naito makes his presence felt here tonight on No Limits Wrestling and he's still trying to negotiate because he's a free agent. He can sign with NLW. He can sign with Metal. But what will his decision be? Mr. Money in the Bank still has his destino to the side. Naito makes a statement. Welcome to another High Octane episode of No Limits Wrestling. Tonight, one of the most personal feuds in NLW history potentially ends right here tonight. Edge gets a rematch for the NLW World Championship against Seth Rollins in a no holds barred match. Last week, Edge ambushed Rollins disguised as a cameraman that he must come face to face with the architect with the title on the line tonight. Also, following a bust up last week, Sting and Stone Cold Steve Austin confront each other live in the ring. Plus, we begin an X Division tournament to crown a challenger for the new X Division champion, the villain, Marty Skrull. And if you thought NLW's return last week was eventful, just wait and watch what happens tonight. And we'd be foolish to overlook what happened last week in the incredible Fatal 4-Way main event to determine the next contender for the NLW World Championship. It was Pentagon Jr. beating Cesaro, Kenny Omega and Shinsuke Nakamura to earn a title opportunity. The match wasn't without injuries. Cesaro had his arm dislocated by Penta and will be out several weeks. But there are also many concerned about the well-being of The Undertaker who after defeating Pentagon Jr. at WrestleMania 3, mysteriously went missing. It just so happens that he was meant to be in the Fatal 4-Way last week, however his disappearance allowed for Penta to take the opportunity. Certainly a suspicious story developing, but Penta can't have the dead man on his mind for long, because he now focuses on his title match, which we have learned will take place on the next NLW brand exclusive pay-per-view, aptly named Zero Fear. But who will he face? Seth Rollins or Edge? We're not waiting long to find out because it's no holds barred for the NLW World Championship and that match takes place right now. Edge has been waiting for this opportunity since WrestleMania 3 where he was the first man pinned in an elimination fatal four way and ironically it was Seth Rollins who pinned him to eliminate him first and Rollins went on to win the world title that night. But here tonight, can he retain the world championship? He is not wasting any time getting his hands on Edge and this no spot matchup is underway. Rollins kicks the head in of Edge. Runs off the arm, so patient Cena from Seth Rollins who is now choking the life out of the way of our superstar. And now throwing our tables cover apart. And a steel chair, remember, nothing is off limits in this matchup, including that, a low blow from Edge and a chair shot to the skull. That's how he attacked him last week. Oh, and there's a power slam right on that table edge. Edge taking a fight to Rollins early on. On the rampway, suplex, and remember, there are no counts in this match, no disqualification, only way to win. Pinfall or submission in the ring is no holes barred. Kendo stick shot, going for a spear, but gets tripped up. And a catapult into the set. And he falls off the stage. Now Rollins sets up his man knee from the runway to the floor below. Kneeing the head of Edge right into the concrete. And now he's ripped apart those steel stairs. A lot of heavy duty in those, but a boot from Edge. And now he has the world champion. 
What the head? Oh my god! Execution DDT on those steel steps. And the architect is in trouble. Look at all this plunder in the ring now. Several chairs, a kendo stick there. Rollins is all tied up in the ropes and Edge tees off on him. With the Singapore cane across the face. And now a trash can over the head of Rollins and drop kicks his head in it. Good grief, can you imagine the reverberation from that can to the skull and Edge basking in the glory. Not a DDT on those chairs. No rings around for a sling blade. The world champion showing great fighting spirit. Edge groggy but an elbow. Now he goes to the top rope quickly. But there's Rollins to meet him. On the top now. Oh God, the Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow from the top rope onto that pile of steel chairs. And the damage has been done to Edge, but Seth Rollins is still struggling. Edge so desperate to win back the world title he lost. It is not going well for him now. The momentum has shifted with that buckle bomb into the ladder. A table has been set up on the outside. A ladder's in the ring. And you can tell just how much Seth Rollins wants to retain the world championship here tonight. But there's Edge to meet him on the top of the ladder, but pushed away. But he lands on his feet, and oh my god. Hold the ladder! Oh, good grief! Edge pushing that 20 foot ladder over, and Seth Rollins goes crashing to the outside through the table. And Edge wasting a little time getting the champion back in the ring. It may be over here. Picks him up for the execution DDT. And a kick out from Rollins. Somehow, some way, Seth Rollins was able to kick out. How? I don't know. But in this no holds barred contest, the world champ Rollins is still in the fight. But maybe not for long. Edge is setting up his man. No! Rollins meets him and there's a whip called me. Blacks out Edge. Curve stop though. Come in. No. Misses. Wriggles free and shoves him to the outside. Well, nearly to the outside. Now he sees him. Go for the spear. What is in trouble? No. Edge misses the spear right into the chair. His head's caught in the chair. And it's over. Curb stop with Edge's head wrapped around that steel chair. The Seth Rollins will change the World Championship in this brutal, basically a street fight, anything goes. And I think we can safely say that they have finally put this rivalry to rest. Seth Rollins retains the World Title later tonight. We'll look at the action, the highlights of which included that magnificent Falcon Arrow onto that set of chairs. Then Rollins got pushed off that ladder through the table, but that was a critical mistake from Edge. Missed the spear, had his head wrapped around that steel chair and then the curb stomp. Well, Edge last week, disguised as a cameraman, attacked Seth Rollins who was sat at ringside. But here tonight, Rollins put this rivalry to rest and has retained his world championship. Now he can move on and defend his shot. Oh! I was about to say move on to this man, Penta Driver on the steel chairs. The Penta Driver, and that is exactly what is on the mind of Pentagon. Oh my god. With the arm wrapped around the steel chair, gonna break it, no! What the? Disappeared after WrestleMania under dubious circumstances. And whether Pentagon had anything to do with it or not, he's certainly running from The Undertaker here. Undertaker is back and better than ever. I'm tired of being the joke 
the cheap laugh in NLW. I am a man of integrity and honor, and I will not be pushed around anymore. Fun and games are for losers, and I am made for success. Now I've felt this way for a while, as if being left off of WrestleMania wasn't bad enough. Last week, I was humiliated by those two broken freaks, the Hardys. That little skit used by management to promote them and bury me underneath the surface, oh no. I'm not just going to move on to the next crappy job I have to do. They've tried to make a fool out of me, but it's time I make fools out of all of you. And I'll start by taking those precious tag team championships away from you, Matt and Jeff. And I have a partner ready to break both of you in half. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Bear witness and grieve the end of civility, head inside the mind of which the unspeakable springs to life, and watch the horror unfold before your eyes. A lack of compassion and morality which sinks endlessly into the abyss, a desire for torture and a lust for violence. Pray for your souls, no mercy, no remorse, no fear. If you have never seen Shinsuke Nakamura wrestle, strap yourselves in, you're in for a treat tonight. This man is like an artist, he moves with such fluidity, it's hard to keep track of him. Those knees are like nunchucks, they're deadly weapons for Shinsuke Nakamura to use on his opponents. The King of Strong Style is an apt nickname, he hits you as hard as he can and he will not relent. He's an eccentric individual and he uses that to his advantage, getting in the heads of his opponents. I know what time's coming now! King Shasa! That knee connecting with a sickening impact to the temple of his opponent. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, has arrived here in NLW. Well, that was certainly an impressive video package, really put over how dominant the great artist has been here in NLW. It really looks as though Shinsuke Nakamura is in line to become one of the top stars on this show. Just remember that perception is everything in professional wrestling, and watching that, the perception I get is that Nakamura is an unstoppable fighter. Well, before I came here, I faced a plethora of so-called unstoppable strong style athletes and I beat every single one of them. I came here with a lot of hype and more than lived up to it by having the best performance on the card at WrestleMania 3 against Daniel Bryan. And it is that feeling of adrenaline, that rush of competing against top level fighters from around the world that drives me. I feed off of that energy. I felt it in victory against Bryan and I want that feeling again. I'm cleaning up the competition one by one and the next person on my list is you, Shinsuke Nakamura. The people got a small taste last week in that fatal four-way when I locked eyes with the great king of strong style. And at zero fear, I want you one-on-one -on -one so that I can expose the myth, the mirage of your artistry and continue the cleanup of NLW. Accept my challenge, Shinsuke, and try and prove me wrong. Wow, what a challenge made for our next pay-per-view event, Zero Fear. Kenny Omega wants to fight Shinsuke Nakamura, and what a contest that will be if it does happen. We await a response from Shinsuke now, but earlier tonight, Pentagon Jr. got more than just a response. He was downright petrified by the return of The Undertaker. Pentagon Jr., the number one contender to Seth Rollins' world title, attacked Seth after Seth's brutal no-holds-barred match with Edge. And just before he broke Rollins' arm, there was the Phenom to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pentagon. As mentioned earlier, many suspect Penta of being responsible for the disappearance of Undertaker after WrestleMania 3. Well, tonight, a blockbuster Mania rematch has just been signed for the main event. It will be Pentagon Jr. versus The Undertaker, this time in a buried alive match. And as if Penta didn't have enough to focus on with an impending title bout, he must now wrestle the dead man and pray that he's not buried six feet under by the end of the program. What a match that is that's just been made by NLW Commissioner Stone Cold Steve Austin. And speaking of Stone Cold, he's got more in his mind than simply making matches tonight. In fact, last week, he was subject to an assault by the Wyatt family. 
when Sting made the save. However, in the commotion, Harper spit blood in Sting's eyes, temporarily blinding the icon. And in a case of mistaken identity, Sting dropped Austin, who, well, retaliated in kind with a stunner. Tonight, both men are in the ring, hopefully to set the record straight, and hopefully, put tensions to rest. But in my opinion, I wouldn't hold my breath. No, it's not often I do this, but after seeing the footage from last week, I will admit, I was still in whoop-ass mode from my match at WrestleMania. I got a little bit carried away in my defense, I had a couple beers in me, I was happy with my win, and when the lights jumped me, I went into survival mode. I get that you couldn't see what you were doing, I didn't know that at the time, but you put your hands on a rattlesnake, blinded or not, it's gonna bite you. That's all it was. We can draw a line under it now, I'm not here to fight, I'm here to be the commissioner of NLW. Just a simple misunderstanding, Sting. That's all it was. You know, I didn't really need an apology, Austin. That was fair what you did stunning me. I understand where you're coming from, even if I couldn't see a damn thing. What does tick me off just a little bit is that you would believe that under normal circumstances, I would need to attack you from behind. Steve, if I'm fighting you, I'm not taking a cheap shot. I'll square up to you, man to man, that's just who I am. Maybe if you weren't getting your ass kicked, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I don't need you to apologize, but a thank you would be nice for saving your ass last week. I get that what you did was instinct, but from now on, I hope we can just talk business and not have you attacking the roster. I'd appreciate it if you left the fighting side to me. With all due respect. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you for saving my ass. I get it, you're upset I stunned you, fair enough. I've been a little hot-headed recently, you're right. I should leave the fighting to the roster. I have my match, my days in the ring are behind me now. <laughs> but, uh, what you said about not taking cheap shots, standing up face-to-face, -face, Stone Cold admires that about you, Sting. But I just want to make one thing clear. Anyone who steps out of line with Stone Cold pays the price. Just ask CM Punk. And just know this, if you put your hands on Stone Cold again, I don't care if you're blinded, sneaking up on me, or looking me dead in my eye, I will take you out with a snap of my fingers, no hesitation. I can move on, Sting. Just don't piss off a rattlesnake, because it will come back to bite you. It doesn't look like Sting's too happy with the tone that Stone Cold just used. He's going to try and reason with it. Oh, my! Well, again! I think that Austin thought that Sting was attacking him, but that was far from the truth. To me, at least, it looked like Sting was trying to reason with Austin. But as Austin said, Stone Cold, you mess with him, you get stunned. Sting found that out, and this issue is far from over. There is just very rare times where I think things come together in like a perfect storm, and that's what happened with us, it just took off. Chad and I come from the same background, I don't think we realised how quick we gel as a team. We've got the credentials to back up our skills, and we know there isn't a team in NLW that can match that. We're here to prove ourselves and get to that next level, and work towards those NLW tag titles one step at a time. We know we can do it, because we are ready, willing, and gable. We are American Alpha. Naomi in her first NLW match is Becky Lynch. Naomi impressive, driving her face into the map. Becky Lynch with the Bexploder. On the top, but who is that? That's Tamina and there's a rear view. Naomi gets the victory, but Tamina with a splash. Becky Lynch loses to a debuting Naomi. And this looks like a force to be reckoned with, this alliance.
shake-up for the NLW women's division as you saw there. Tamina showing up to help Naomi in her NLW debut. And what an exciting night it's been tonight, just like it was last week, where we saw Adam Cole throw out an open challenge for anyone to face him for the Exodus Championship. And to the shock of all the fans watching, it was none other than the villain Marty Scroll accepting the challenge and on his first night in the company upended Adam Cole forcing him to submit to the chicken wing and thus became the new X Division champion. Now it has been said the X Division is the most competitive championship in all of NLW. Just a who's who of technically sound athletes. Men like Austin Aries, Adam Cole, Neville, Daniel Bryan and now Marty Scroll adds his name to the list of former champions. But who will be the next to challenge for the gold? Well, Stone Cold has set up an eight-man tournament to crown a new number one contender. And has had scouts covering the globe attempting to sign some of the top wrestlers in the world today specifically for this tournament. And we're about to show you highlights from earlier tonight from the quarterfinals. First up on the agenda was the brand new signing Rich Swan taking on X-Division veteran Neville and it was a competitive contest. You see the high-flying tactics used by Neville but he was equally matched especially there with that no-hands Frankensteiner. But then this was the turning point. Rich Swan missing a Phoenix Splash, his finisher and then the red arrow from Neville means Neville advances to the semi-finals. Next up another brand new signing young 21-year-old Tyler Bate from Dudley, England, and it was Hideo Itami who was tasked with facing the youngster here tonight, but Tyler Bate wasn't going down without a fight, as you saw the shooting star press, but the strong style of Hideo was no match for the power of Tyler Bate lifting Hideo Itami for the Tyler Driver 97. Then it was a clash of attitudes, the high-flying laid-back Rob Van Dam taking on technical legend Dean Malenko. Rob Van Dam uses athleticism, but Dean Malenko used his technical prowess, especially there with that gut buster off the top rope. Van Dam though, hit a rolling thunder, but could not hit the frog splash, the knees were up, and then the power bomb into the Texas Cloverleaf. Dean Malenko advances to the semis. And what a coup this was to get for No Limits Wrestling. Brand new to the exhibition, Will Ospreay. He took on Kalisto, and the Lucha Libre was on display from Kalisto, but the crowd was amazed by Will Ospreay. This was an incredibly exciting affair with plenty of high risk offense, including an inverted 450 from Ospreay. But we saw the finish when Kalisto attempted a handspring but that was caught out by the Oz Cutter and there you see Will Ospreay advance to the semi-finals and I cannot wait for next week to see those four men who advanced in action the winners of both the semi-finals will face off at our next pay-per-view Zero Fear with the winner becoming the number one contender for Mighty Scrolls X Division Championship certainly an exciting night we've got set up for next week but that's not all. Not only are we going to have the semi-finals of that tournament, but we're also going to have a match that Daniel Bryan has personally requested from management. It will be the American Dragon Daniel Bryan taking on the vicious, sadistic Minoru Suzuki. This stems from what happened last week. Minoru Suzuki interrupting Daniel Bryan's address to the NLW fans, attacking him, and now they will face off in one-on-one -on -one competition next week. And this huge WrestleMania rematch for the NLW Women's Championship leads has the opportunity to win back the title she lost from Sasha Banks but Sasha Banks doesn't want to become just a transitional champion she wants to hold on to that goal for a long time and I cannot wait to see the boss versus Lita next week we'll see who emerges with the NLW women's title but coming up next folks it's our main event a buried alive match Pentagon Jr. takes on the man he seemingly took out The Undertaker. Yes, The Undertaker has been missing for the past several weeks. And many have pointed the finger of blame at Pentagon Jr. After all, Pentagon took the spot that was originally intended for The Undertaker in a fatal four-way to crown a number one contender last week. Pentagon ended up winning the thing, and now he is set to face Seth Rollins for the NLW World title at Zero Fear. But of course, with the Phenom, plans could change drastically here tonight, especially if The Undertaker ends up burying Pentagon Jr. six feet under. Let's go to ringside for this main event. And so it's come to this. A buried alive match. There you see the tombstone and the gravesite. The two men competing in the ring. The winner is the first man to put their opponent in the grave and bury them alive. It is a sadistic concept and the Undertaker snake eyes but gets caught with a sling blade. The last time these two faced off at WrestleMania and you can see Pentagon tries to break the arm but Undertaker has it scouted. A boot to the face of Pentagon. And now they're edging closer to the great site and there is a clothesline 
from the 300 pound frame of the Undertaker from the second rope the Undertaker disappeared after Wrestlemania many believe it was because of Pentagon Jr and evidently the Undertaker by attacking Pentagon earlier tonight well I guess that kind of proves that it was Pentagon who was responsible for the disappearance of the Undertaker but tonight Taker has the chance for revenge gets choked up with a shovel but brings the chair and gets booted in the face and there's a clothesline from the Phenom Pentagon tried to break the arm of Undertaker in this match and the Undertaker tries to do the same to Pentagon oh school no crouched on the top rope and now the Hurricane Rana from the Lucha Libre star Pentagon and it was earlier tonight where Pentagon tried to break the arm of the world champ Seth Rollins who Pentagon will face for the world championship at zero fear but tonight he has to worry about the Undertaker who came to the aid of Seth Rollins earlier tonight Pentagon dives at the Undertaker though but gets caught and throttled and now rubbing the back of his head in that dirt that mound of grass and soot and everything you can see who is going to rest in peace tonight misses with the leg and his leg is caught up and now the chair coming into play remember no disqualification in a very alive match and he places that chair on the canvas and a tornado DDT the match at Wrestlemania was personal between these two and it's just been escalating from there a drop kick sends the Undertaker into our announce table and what is Pentagon doing? he is climbing to the top rope not gonna die for man no! oh my god Chokeslam! Chokeslam in Pentagon Jr. from the top rope through the announce table. Flying about 10 feet through the air. One arm. Incredible power from The Undertaker. We have to take a look at this again. Sat up. And then the chokeslam through the announce table. What has he got planned? For his rival now, he has ripped apart the padding, the protective padding, and has exposed the concrete. The Pentagon back up! And there's that Sling Blade Bulldog driving Undertaker face first into the concrete. And now gonna drag 300 pounds of Undertaker to the grave side, but a backdrop. Nearly backdrop Pentagon right into the grave. But the Undertaker. Oh my god. Not a not a last ride into the grave. But back drops him. And Undertaker slides down the mound of dirt. Pentagon. He's groggy though. As he tries to drag the Undertaker into that grave. And he does. And there's the shovel again. That steel shovel. Right into the face of the Undertaker. And now using that very same shovel to shovel the dirt into the grave and remember the dirt has to cover the Undertaker but it's not he sits up in the grave oh my god look at the height and a choke slam into the grave choke slam Pentagon Jr right into it and that's a six foot drop through the grave and another six foot, so that's about 12 feet drop right there, but he went for the tombstone. And there's the tombstone, literally. And that is a heavy tombstone driven into the skull on the arm break. The arm ripped out of its socket. Oh my God, the fear factor into the grave. His power driver, which he calls the fear factor, right into the grave. And now desperately shoveling the dirt onto the Undertaker. The Undertaker had his arm broken by Pentagon. 
who's shoveling that turn. And he's covered, it's over. Pentagon Jr. has buried The Undertaker alive. And the man who could very well be the next NLW World Champion buries the legend of The Undertaker here tonight. We'll take a look at the replay of this incredible action that chokes him into the grave. He went for a tombstone, but then got a tombstone of his own, literally driven into the back of his head. Pentagon broke the arm of The Undertaker, and then that Fear Factor package pile driver from the stage running into the grave. Could have very well broken the neck of The Undertaker, who is now suffocating in that grave site. And what is that? What's he doing now? Oh, Jesus, I smell it from here. Is that gasoline? Is that gasoline on the on the dirt on that grave? Oh my God, no! The love of God, the Undertaker is in the grave, and Pentagon has just set it alight. That grave, that grave site is on fire. The Undertaker is in there, and that sadistic, vicious Pentagon who has just buried the Undertaker and burns him alive. That monster could be our next world champion.